You might want to ease into painting on wet paper by wetting dry paper and painting on it first. Let's talk about a few things that happens on that will happen on wet paper. If I take a big brush and wet it, wet my paper down, and I haven't drawn anything on this, so I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. And I wet this whole big section up here, and let's call this where we're going to put the sky. So now maybe you can see some shine. Yeah, you can. You can see the shine on there. I'll do a little bit. I'm really going to lay some water down here. So here's, let's go down maybe two-thirds, wet down to where I'm going to pretend there's a horizon line. Any dry space is going to take the paint differently than the wet space. And I'm going to use that same big brush. This is a one and a half inch sky flow by Robert Simmons. And fill it full of. Wish I could pull my palette in to view for you. But I'm not going to do that today. And I'm mixing cerulean blue, cobalt blue. And I know I told you you just have one blue. But I keep cobalt, cerulean, and French Ultra on my palette. And I'm going to go into this very wet paper here. Let it, let it move around. Change. Uh, not wetting my brush again. I'm just pulling on, just pulling paint into my, into my brush. Okay. And letting it. Turn my brush sideways this time, see, and you can make a, a more narrow stroke. Turn it flat, it makes a wide stroke. If I put a brown or burnt sienna into this blue, it's going to gray it down. And it's going to change. And they're again going right back into charging into that wet. It's very lovely, actually. I love skies like that. I love to put them in. Get another dry brush. Another big sky flow. And it's dry. I haven't wet this one at all. And I'm going to. Lift some out like Mary is just by gently lifting it out. Okay, so this could be this could be mountains, or it could be over the ocean, or it could be over a pasture. But you can see purple shades are coming in here. Here's where some cerulean blue happened. Here's some cobalt there that ends up looking a little bit like French Ultramarine. marine. I have kept my sides. I'm closing my sides in a little bit because I don't want your eye to go follow that white path off of the side of the paper. So you've wet your paper two-thirds of the way down and you have Quickly, with a big brush, put your sky in, leaving a very random shape. Okay? So go practice that first, and then we'll move on down the paper.